Today I'm going to show you how to use the MySQL Improve class to prepare statements to query your database and show you some of the benefits of using it this way. Alright, first let's get our PHP tags up. Okay, to use the MySQL uh, Improve class, first we're going to connect to it by creating a new instance of the class. Okay, so it would take the parameters of your host. Username, password, and the database. I had an or die function if it doesn't connect. Okay, now let's make a, a statement. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go to connect, go into this class, and bring up prepare, uh, the prepare method. Here um, is where your query will go. So I'm going to say select ID, title, and body from post. Okay, now when you prepare the statement, it gives you the ability to take the fields and store them in the variables to be used later when you're fetching. So let's go ahead and make the variables that we're going to be storing each field into. Alright, so we statement, bind, results. Okay, the first one will be for the ID for the title and for the body okay now if I was just leave the code as is the code won't actually be executed there will be no uh, query the database it, of course it would connect to it but none of this right here would happen without unless uh, I add the statement execute now this executes everything so this runs this prepared query binds the results for each um, field in the table the ID the title and the body uh, st stores them in the variables and now I can uh, grab them later also I like to use another function statement store results this allows me to it uh, stores all the results and it allows me to uh, run statements like echo statement numbers All right, and since I'm in Dreamweaver, I can run this live view, which would be like a browser. I have five posts in there. So that's just like doing the MySQL numbers um, function. Okay, now I want to go ahead and take the information out of it. I can do a while loop, which will spit everything out like this statement going into the statement and fetch okay I'm gonna get out of the while loop like this so I can make make uh, what's coming up the database look a little bit you know neater I go h1 
echo title. Paragraph PHP echo body. All right, let's save. Okay, save that. And now let's take a look at it. Back to design view. Hmm, got an error. The line set. Hmm. Saying I can't use it. It's strange. Fudge. There we go. Alright, and you see, instead of doing it the old way with the uh, normal MySQL functions, I'm able to grab everything within the variables and spit them out here on this side. And now I'm going to show you another way of say you want to find a passive variable through your query. Say you want to do and you're searching for something. Say we was to add it as where I. ID equals I don't know three you wouldn't do it exactly like this when you're preparing using the prepare statement you'll do where ID equals question mark okay and then you will run statement bind parameters and since we're going to be passing through an integer, we'll be put in an I, S for a string, B for a boolean. So I, three. Go here. No, that's right. You gotta throw it through a variable. So we'll do post num equals three. Three. There you go. So with this, I can. I could have easily just used an integer to show it'll work. Um, B. Well, it's not a boolean, so I can, if I'm just using a number like this, just an integer, I can put I, or I can just use string. I personally just use string for everything. Now, if I was had more than one of uh, variables going into my query, you know, I add another question mark like uh, and title equals question mark and then I'll add another s and then another variable okay now when you now when running your uh, queries with this uh, class, it's a, it's a whole lot more efficient. It protects better from SQL injection. Um, when you have, when you're spitting out tons and tons of data, it runs faster. 
and when you're passing it, say if you're passing off the design and the layout through, uh, to a designer, of course you might want to set up your own classes using the MySQL uh, improved class. But if you have the code in the top of the page, you know, and the person really knows, you know, just a fair amount of how to use the, you know, PHP, it makes it a lot easier for them to get at things within the database when grabbing just you know when you just have to worry about grabbing title and body the variable set up through the, um, the bind results function okay so this was a quick tutorial on how to use my MySQL uh, improved class um, I'm gonna pod within the next week I'm gonna have another tutorial showing how to use this by uh, use this to input information to a database but from a form submitted using jQuery.